What is up guys, this is Zach from Angler's Escape and today I'm going to make a really short and sweet video on how to fish lakes. So let's say you're the beginner, you don't know where to begin. The first thing you want to do is find information. So do a quick online search on the fishing report of that specific lake. If that doesn't pull up anything, go to your local bait shop and when you pick up worms or minnows, ask the bait shop owner, they'll give you a lot of information. So now I want to go over what baits to bring. Whenever I go to a lake, there's two baits I would not go to the lake without. One is worms and the other is minnows. There's a reason why these are in every bait shop across the US and that's because they work so well and most fish species in the America will take them. So here's some Canadian night crawlers. You can see they're big and juicy. Always open up the container before you buy them because sometimes they're dead or really puny. Usually two or three bucks at the local bait shop or Walmart. Here's a bunch of minnows. I got a couple dozen. I usually like to switch up the sizes so I'll get a dozen medium, a dozen large. The minnows are great for bass and crappie and the worms are great for bluegill and catfish. And so today's video I want to talk about the four main species that you're going to find in lakes and most lakes in North America anyway. And that's bluegill, catfish, crappie and bass. So now I want to go into the poles that I use. And whenever you go lake fishing, you want to bring two different pole setups. One with 10 to 12 pound test line, and this is going to be for bass and catfish. And one with four pound test line, and this is going to be for panfish, bluegill, and crappie. And so let's go ahead and just talk about my setup with 10 to 12 pound test line. And basically, like I said earlier, this is going to be for catfish and bass. And so for catfish, all I'm going to be doing is fishing worms on the bottom. This is your number one go-to for catching catfish in lakes. And so for my quick overview of my setup, I just have a one-aught circle hook, and you can go up to a two-aught circle hook, but nothing too big. And basically I string the worms onto here, then I have about a foot leader up to a barrel swivel and just a little egg slinker. So this way when the fish starts to pull on my bait, they don't feel that weight of the sinker because it just slides. And again, you want to be fishing on the bottom with for a catfish, no bobber. And just use some worms and you'll have a lot of success. The other thing I'm going to be targeting on my 10 to 12 pound test line reel and rod and reel is going to be bass. And so here's some excellent bass lures to start out with. Here's a Kevin Van Dam 2.5 square build crankbait. And here's a Rapala jointed crankbait. Both excellent crankbaits for bass. Another lure that I wouldn't go without is just a standard rooster tail. You can catch crappie, catfish, bass, and bluegill on it. Blue Fox and Panther Martin make some excellent inline spinners and they're great for all types of fish species. So now with the rod that you have four pound test line on, this is gonna be the one for crappie and bluegill. Here's the crappie setup. If you're gonna be fishing from a dock or a boat, you can drop a minnow straight down. Now crappie are gonna suspend themselves. So crop, catfish are on the bottom. We already talked about that, how you just wanna have a weight out there, sink it to the bottom, the catfish will take your worm. Crappie aren't gonna take worms, they're gonna take minnows and they're gonna take them suspended. So the crappie aren't gonna be at the surface, they're not gonna be at the bottom, they're gonna be about mid column of the water. Take a little standardized J hook, hook your minnow through the nostril. So I go up through the mouth, through the nostril, not through the head or it'll kill them. And right there, I'm through the nostril, he's still lively and he'll stay alive for hours on end. Then have about, I don't know, eight inches up to a foot, have a little bit of split shot just to keep your minnow weighted down so he doesn't swim up back to the surface. And then drop your line down so it's about or halfway to the bottom. And now if you're fishing like the shore, it's a little harder to judge what's halfway. You can use a bobber obviously, and the best is a slip bobber. So what your slip bobber allows you to do is it slides up and down your line so when you cast it out, you'll have a little piece of string tied to your fishing line. And so once 12 feet of line is out, your bobber will just keep sliding up the line until it hits that little piece of string that doesn't interfere with their casting and stop there. So now you're fishing like 12 feet deep under a bobber, you're not fishing on the bottom, you're not fishing at the top, and you're fishing from shore, which is really nice. And so finally guys, let me show you my panfish and bluegill setup for lakes. And again, this is the four pound test line setup, light action rod. You want a bobber, usually the smaller the better. I just use a big bobber just for example. It's a little easier to show. But the smaller the bobber, the better, because the fish feels less resistance when it pulls the bobber down, so it's less likely to spit the hook. But anyway, usually I'm fishing about two to three feet down from the bobber for bluegill and panfish, so I got a little bit of split shot, about a foot and a half down, and then about another half a foot to a foot, I have my little hook. And if the bluegill are ever stealing your baits, you want to just keep downsizing your hook until you start catching them and downsizing your bait size as well. And you're going to be wanting to use worms for that too. So a quick recap, 
for the bluegill and catfish are going to be using worms. The difference is the catfish are going to be on the bottom and you're going to be using that 10 to 12 pound test line. The bluegill are going to be closer to the surface, about three feet under. You're going to be fishing near the shore and you're going to be using the four pound test line. The crappie and bass, you're going to be using minnows, which I have right here. And you're going to be using the 10 to 12 pound test line for the bass and the four pound test line for the crappie. And finally, guys, again, I just want to reiterate these good bass lures right here. Some of my favorites. My personal best bass was caught on this jointed Rapella crankbait. And this is probably the crankbait I've caught the most bass on in general. Crankbaits are pretty user friendly. And again, if you want to go for all four fish species, I find an inline spinner. Catfish, crappie, bass, and bluegill will take it. So I hope you try out one of these tips and you enjoyed this video and this will get you started. And thanks for watching.